And as residents prepare to leave the Carolina coast, Red Cross volunteers from here in Wisconsin will be headed into that area. Tom Durian is live with a look at the response and preparations. Tom. Carol, I just heard from the Red Cross here in Wisconsin. They tell me some of their volunteers will leave here from Mitchell Airport tomorrow afternoon to go help with Hurricane Florence preparations. 13 people have answered the call from Wisconsin. That's just a fraction of the Wisconsin volunteers that will likely make their way to the East Coast in the coming days and weeks to help with Hurricane Florence evacuations and recovery. Setting up shelters, that's the number one thing right now. People are going to have to get out of the path of this monster storm. We're getting out of Dodge. Of the people in Florence's path, former today's TMJ Fort Chief Meteorologist John Milan, who retired to North Carolina. We're probably going to see a mandatory order by morning here. He will be heading inland and south to avoid the strong winds and accompanying storm surge. It's category three to four. Not, as you know, nothing to, to mess with, and we're right at sea level here, so on this island. Forecasters are also worried about an immense amount of rain that could cause flooding similar to what we saw in Texas last year with Harvey. That's really scary because then it's just raining, 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 and those places can't handle that much water. No place can handle that much water. In addition to the volunteers, Wisconsin will also send three emergency response vehicles packed with supplies to help those evacuated and to begin the cleanup process. And we're told in the 2017 hurricane season, they sent 350 volunteers from here in Wisconsin down south to help out. They anticipate if this storm hits as is forecasted, they may do the same with Florence. Reporting live outside the airport here, Tom Durian, today's TMJ4. Yeah, our Red Cross volunteers are always available. Thank you very much, Tom.